everybody. I'm so excited to tell you that we got a cell washer. We used it in class um, at the very end of the semester because that's when we got it in and it was really wonderful. So this is the, the Thermo Scientific CW3 cell washer. If you open it up, it pops open like that, you'll see that there are 24 slots for the tubes to go in and they do swing out in this little uh, bucket area to catch anything that comes out of there and um, also to stop this from going up way too high. Okay, so the, this is um, a fixed rotor but with a swing um, location for each of the tubes. So you'll notice that we've got 12 next to a one. Well, each side is color coded. So we have one side that's red, one side that's blue, and they're both count all the way up to 12. And so you can color code to show whose specimen is whose or however it is that you want to do that. Um, so let's actually run a cycle. Okay, we have some um, red blood cell tubes Okay, I'm putting it, oh, that was in two. Putting it on one in the blue and I'm gonna put it on one in the red. Uh, that ensures that I have it uh, across the rotor from each other, across each other through the rotor, okay? We're gonna close it up. We're not slamming it. You're just gonna press it gently closed. This is set on auto, sorry. This is set on auto. You can put it on manual mode or agitation centrifuge mode, uh, but we're gonna keep it on auto. That means that it's gonna do the whole process um, from start to finish without needing to change anything. Each, uh, each part of this mode, each step is going to take roughly 35 seconds and we have um, three cycles that we're going to run. So one cycle is about 35 seconds. So the most that this takes is up to three minutes, three to five minutes, uh, depending on what it is that you're doing and how many cycles you do. Um, so in order to get it started, we need to press this light blue, okay? Now it's showing, it's washing, and it's telling you how much time it's going to take to finish washing. You can hear the saline coming out from here and going into the, the cell washer, okay? And before you do any of this, you wanna make sure that there aren't any bubbles in the tubing, because then it's not going to be done as well. It's not gonna be very accurate. You'll notice though that the tubing also then goes out and to the sink. And depending on, oh, see, it's coming out. Um, depending on where you are in your cycles, uh, that fluid will come out. So we just did um, one cycle of wash, then centrifuge and decant. That was the, um, the fluid going out. Then we agitated and now we're back to wash again. So this is, that was the first cycle. So now we have two left. Again, you don't need to press start except at the very beginning of all that. Now look at, look at what we have coming out of there. The amount of uh, red cells that would usually come out of there, I put a little bit more in there, I'm gonna run bleach down the sink, um, is usually not going to be that much. But if you see red, it's okay. You're not losing um, all your cells. Okay, as we'll see when we take it out. Okay, so we're decanting, agitating. You know, it's swinging it out. That's, that's why you hear that clanking. And so that was the second cycle. Now we're on the third cycle. And you'll see that there's like a wave in the tubing of fluid. So decanting is about to happen. So you
you'll see the tubing. So there was some come out. Agitation, then we're centrifuging. And then that's it. So you get that nice little beep, it pops it for you. You open it up and let's see what they look like. Okay, so like I said, I did put a good amount of cells in there just so that you could see it really well in the video. Um, I'm not running anything right now in blood bank, but you get this nice, just cells at the bottom. You don't get that extra, um, extra, uh, saline that you might not be able to decant all the way and your regular, um, manual, uh, tube, tube decant that you do yourself. You know, everybody's always scared of losing all their cells. Well, look, there's, there's hardly any residual uh, saline left over. It's mainly just the cells. And you don't have this line that we usually have go up the sides, you know, when we do this manually by hand. Usually there's that line, and I tell you, look at the line. Um, it's from centrifuging it. There's a line of red cells that goes up the side, and you know to put the line up at the top, and so when you decant, uh, you know that you're not losing your cells. Well, this doesn't have that line at all. And um, let's look at the other one. So same thing here, okay? And again, this is more, uh, these are more red cells than you would actually use in the tube testing that we were doing. But that's pretty much it. So I'm so very, very happy that we have, um, we have this now and I'm really, really excited um, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. There was a little bit of splash, but that's how that goes. Thank you all so much for watching and, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.